Next one we've got here is topic 2.9. We're understanding scientific notation. This is taking very large numbers and shortening them so that you can see them a lot better or use them a lot better. So we're gonna look at how do we, what is scientific notation and how do we use it? So all of that. <clears throat> it's a scientific notation. It's a way to write very large numbers into smaller numbers. Um, when we have our numbers, if we are going to, if the number is larger than one, we're gonna have a positive exponent in our scientific notation. If our original number is less than one, even though, for example, here, you can see it on your paper, this is 0.00000987, that number, because it's a decimal, is less than one. And so its exponent in the scientific notation portion is going to have a negative exponent. Okay. So let's look at our first question here. Scientists often write very large or small numbers using exponents. How might a scientist write this very large number using exponents? We're going to abbreviate. I'm not going to use this entire thing. We're only going to take, I don't know, about four or five of those. So we can say that it is about 0, 0.0. There's four zeros there. Two, seven, four, nine, and we'll leave that one in eight because that's a three, so I won't round it in any way. I have to round it down. So we're gonna look at that. What we wanna do to write scientific notation is we wanna get the number that we're gonna have times 10, whatever this number is here, we want that to be between zero, no, between one and 10. We only want one digit there, so if we have zero, might as well just move it one more decimal. Um, or if it's 10, we have two digits there in front of that. So we only want one digit in front of our decimal. So what we can do, because this number right here, our original number is less than one, because it's a decimal, or it's actually smaller than one, between one and zero, that's the way to say it. Because it's a decimal, it's between one and zero, or negative one and zero. Our exponent over here is going to be negative. So, the way I do this, what is going to determine this number right here is how many times I move this decimal to get to this first one. This is my goal. I wanna get my decimal here because then I've got one digit in my final number. So how many, how many times do I have to move that decimal? One, two, three, four, five. So I had to do five little jumps of my decimal to get it. So now I've got 2.7498. And I'm going, and that was five jumps there. So that means I'm going to have a negative five over here. So this is what the final result of taking that big long number there. Big, it's actually really small, but that big, that really large number there, and simplifying it to write it in expo scientific notation. I've got this. Okay. So now, I'm, my goal there is to figure out what goes up here. Is it positive or negative? And then whatever I have here, I want this digit to be between one and nine. If I did 27.498, that's too much. If I did 0.27498, that's too little. I want one digit there to the left of that decimal. Let's do some more practice. So writing large numbers in scientific notation. Louise is researching the distance between Earth and the sun. Her father told her that the distance is 9.296 times 10 to the seventh miles. In an astronomy book, she found the following picture, 92,960,000 miles. Are these the same number? Let's check. 
So if I wrote this number out, I'm going to scroll down here, but I'm going to leave it. Oh, I guess I don't have that much. I'll do it up here. So 92,960 miles. So we can imagine a decimal there. So we know our end result is going to be times 10 to some power, and we're going to have some number here. So I look at where is this decimal at to start with, and I'm going to move it so that my end result is going to be one digit left of that zero, or that last number. So 9296 is what I will end up with. And it's going to be the decimals right there. That's my goal, because this one now is between 1 and 10. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 jumps is what I need to do to get my decimal from there to there. So 7. Is, and my original number was greater than 1, so my exponent here is positive. So where, what the dad said and what the book showed, are those the same answer? They are. 9.296 times 10 to the seventh, 9.296 times 10 to the seventh. Yep. And what this really means here is like, if this is 10 to the seventh, if I had 9.296 times 10 with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros there, because that's what this means. This is just a multiplication problem. I take this smaller number, I multiply it by a larger number, and my result is gonna be this right here. 92, uh, 960, 92,960,000. So that's taking this larger number and just simplifying it to be expressed in a shorter way. So we can do that with large numbers, we can even do it with really small numbers. So here we've got the width of a blood cell, we have a blood cell there, and the width of it. So if we look at it, it's 0 0.0000703, we're writing that in scientific notation. So my first digit that I come to is that one, so my answer is going to be 7.03. This is between 1 and 10, and it's going to be multiplied by 10 to some exponent. This original number is less than 1, so I'm going to have a negative in my exponent there. So let's, do, let's see how many decimals, how many jumps I need to go from the original spot to where I want to represent this at. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that was 6 jumps. So my answer is that, 7.03 times 10 to the negative sixth. Now when you use a calculator, calculator cannot make an X on it. The digital way that they do it, they aren't able to. So what they programmed it to do is use this letter E to represent that times 10 thing. So 3.5, E15 is the exact same thing as saying 3.5 times 10 to the 15th power. That E equals that times 10 there. So Kelly used a calculator to multiply large numbers. How can she write the number on her calculator screen in standard form? This is scientific notation. Standard form would be this way. 3, 5, I need to move this decimal now 15 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, two three. That's a very large number. And that's what that represents. So 3.5 E15 equals 3.5 times 10 to the 15th. 
which equals three, I don't even know, hundreds, thousands, millions, trillions, billions, quadrillions? Three quadrillion, 500 trillion? The next one here is 8e negative 9. 8e negative 9 equals 8 times 10 to the negative 9. So if I have 8, and here's my original decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's my new number there. And I went to the left because it's a negative number. Negative means my, my standard form is going to be less than 1. Up here it was positive, so my standard form was greater than 1. 